Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Larson from the 807th Medical Command G8. This video will cover the government travel charge card video, manager's duties and responsibilities at the brigade and battalion level. Agenda. During this presentation, we will cover references, definitions, card management training requirements, card manager structure and responsibilities, the battle rhythm reports and the GTCC delinquency tasker and possible disciplinary actions. References. The Travel and Transportation Reform Act, TTRA, mandates the use of the travel card for all official business travel. DOD FMR, Volume 9, Chapter 3, The Government Travel Charge Card Policy, G9-09-001, and the 807th MDSC, 37-1, Chapter 7. Definitions. The card manager is the program manager for the Government Travel Charge Card program within the unit. The card manager follows the GTCC battle rhythm, serves as a subject matter expert on the GTCC, and disseminates and enforces policies and procedures. Training requirements for the card managers. Before a card manager can be appointed, they must complete the following six classes. Travel card program management, the APC course, Travel Card Program, the Travel Card 101 course, City Card Manager, Basic Reports, Advanced Reports, Card Maintenance, and the City Manager for APCs. These classes are provided through DTS tracks at the provided link. Card Manager Structure. Each medical brigade is required to have travel card managers at the Brigade, Combat Support Hospital, Multifunctional Medical Battalion, and company or detachment levels. These card managers must be full-time support and either E7 or GS7 or higher at the brigade or battalion level and E5 or GS7 or higher at the company or detachment level. The 807th G8 best practice highly encourages appointing the unit training NCO as the travel card manager. Card manager responsibilities. The Brigade Card Manager and Downtrace establish at least one card manager per UIC. This appointment will be sent in writing with all the training certificates to the 807th G8, who then accepts it, grants permission to the card managers, and keeps a copy of the records in a file. It is the car travel card manager's responsibility to keep the commander and city bank informed of any irregularities noted as soon as possible. A point of contact roster for DTS and card managers is to be maintained and posted in common areas for the card holder use. Create and request accounts for the new card holders. It is the card manager's responsibility to submit the appropriate paperwork to Citibank to apply for a new account. Continuing with the card manager responsibilities, in and out processing of the existing accounts must be completed within 30 days of the cardholder's arrival or departure of the unit. Close all separating accounts immediately, whether the cardholder is separating from military service, terminating civilian service, becoming incarcerated, retires, or is deceased. Create and maintain a physical file of all the card managers. It is also the card manager's responsibility to advise travelers to register for the Citibank Easy Access service online. Other card manager responsibilities. Running reports every 12th of the month, the brigades will receive, distribute, and research and complete the GTCC delinquency tasker that is sent out every 15th of the month by the 807th G8. The brigade card manager will also consolidate and complete the GTCC delinquency report from the subordinate units and upload them into the ELAS tasker system. Delinquency counseling management includes following the battle rhythm, which we will cover next, as well as initiating and reporting all discrepancies or adverse actions that need to take place. One week prior to battle assembly weekend, card managers compared delinquency report hierarchy to the GTCC delinquency tasker. Identify soldiers with delinquent accounts that require counseling. Prepare delinquency counseling forms for a commander to sign during BTA. On each BTA, deliver a package to the commander and first sergeant with the counseling statements to be completed. 
Follow up with the unit commander to collect the completed counseling statements. One month prior to Unit AT, card managers scrub the AT battle roster. Schedule GTCC activations for no more than four days prior to the Unit AT start date. Schedule GTCC deactivations for no later than three days after the AT end date. One week prior to Unit AT, card managers rescrub AT battle roster for new additions or deletions. Ensure accurate scheduling of the GTCC activations or deactivations. On the 12th of every month, run account activity text report, account listing report, and the delinquency report hierarchy. On the 15th of the month, new GTCC delinquency taskers are published in ELAS by the 807th and upload last month's GTCC delinquency tasker into ELAS. GTCC activation and deactivation. To activate and deactivate an account in the Citibank Commercial Cards page, click on the Web Tools, click on CityDirect Card Management System, click on your Hierarchy Level, click on Card Management, Account Management, and Modify Account. Type in either their last or first name, account number, or cardholder's social security number. Scroll down to the controls. Under controls, type in the GTCC activation and deactivation desired dates, and then click Submit. Make sure the modified account information has been submitted. Notification message appears to confirm the scheduling has been done. Next, we'll cover reports. Citibank offers the following reports. Account activity text report monitors activity for a specified billing cycle. Account listing report lists account information for cardholders under the hierarchy. Delinquency report hierarchy identifies delinquent accounts and lists them by time frame. DOD travel IBA aging analysis, IBA aging analysis summary report identifies detailed account delinquencies and summary level information by component hierarchy. Delinquency Timeline This timeline is presented here for your reference and can be found in the 807th 37-1 FMR Chapter 7. Now we will cover Taskers. Delinquency Tasker Steps This is a screenshot of the actual template that is sent out. The drop-down menu shown is intended to emphasize that those are the only authorized answers for the remarks column. Delinquency Tasker Steps GTCC Report The completed GTCC delinquency tasker is received by the cash or MMB card managers and sent to the brigade card manager to be uploaded in both Excel and PDF format. Each card manager is to maintain a hard copy of the signed report for six years and three months. Next, we will cover disciplinary action. Delinquency counseling. Ensure that counseling is performed by providing a JAG-approved counseling form to the commander. At 30 days, notify the cardholder, immediate supervisor, and the commander. At 60 days, notify the battalion commander. At 90 days, notify the brigade commander. Disciplinary actions. Failure by the commander and card managers to enforce GTCC policy could result in reprimands and written counseling, referred evaluations, suspension or removal of government travel card. Other disciplinary actions. Failure by the cardholder to properly use and pay their GTCC could result in reprimands and written counseling, referred evaluations, suspension or removal of the government travel card, and bar to re-enlistment, suspension of security clearances, administrative reductions, and separations. Disciplinary actions. The cardholder is always to be notified. When the cardholder's chain of command is notified of the delinquency, the cardholder must be notified. Card managers must also notify Citibank of all suspensions and cancellation actions initiated by the chain of command. This concludes our government travel card manager training for the brigade and cash level.